Hey everybody, this is Wii 13 and welcome back to Let's Play Wii Sports Resort. In the last episode, we, uh, well, in the last two episodes, we did Power Cruising. This episode, we are doing our fourth to last event. That's right, we've done, uh, 80% of the events in Wii Sports Resort. Um, kinda sad. Although, uh, definitely, uh, um, there's an event coming up, um, that's really gonna take a lot of videos, so, um, don't think that there's gonna be, uh, that we only have, like, eight videos left. Trust me, we don't. Uh, so now let's do canoeing speed challenge at the canoeing verses. And as you can see, we're doing this on a lovely, uh, volcano side lake. Volcano side. Okay, not exactly that lovely, but okay. I said okay twice in that sense. Well, let's not do Monday. Let's do Tuesday. <laughs> mm, sure, why not? Let's do Tuesday. Uh, let's do beginner. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. And as we sing uh, more standard music, we'll do the uh, stampede at Duckling Lake. And yes, this place does have a name. Stampede, beginner license, uh, 200 yards in beginner mode, 300 yards in intermediate mode, 400 yards in, in, 400 yards in expert mode. Get 10, get all 10 ducks in, on the lake and bring them back to your mother. And cut the red tape on all levels, uh, which is beyond the license level. Okay, 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 I know how to... Oh, come on! Just let me paddle! Come on, I just want to go! Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Don't need the physics lesson. Another duck. Ooh. A little, a little ducky has found me. He's so cute.
Okay, so you get the premise. I haven't been very talkative in this. You get the premise. You have to get all ten ducklings to their mother. And for them to count, you, they have to see you, or be, or like, touch you. And when that uh, duck meter at the top, yeah, you can see it, is filled, uh, which you can see, oh, uh, then uh, get a stamp. Also, uh, bumping into uh, those, uh, I want to call them rocks, but they're barriers. Uh, will cause you to lose the ducklings that you have that aren't uh, saved with their mother. Like, that's a light bump that won't do anything. You know what, I haven't shown any of the practice mode stamps yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, end the video, I'm gonna keep going until I get all the other five ducklings. Or I die, whichever comes first. Of course, knowing that I am not exactly that close to death, by natural means at least, uh, this video will probably end when I get all the other four now. Oh, another light tap. That's good considering I thought I was gonna lose those lose that duckling. I don't want to swim in the... I want to break the rules. Rules are for wimps. Okay, so we found the ninth duck. And, uh, I've already gotten the stamp as my Wikuchini, just so you know. Um, and I... and you will not... and no matter how much you search, uh, in this, uh, in the pond area, you will not find the tenth duck. That that doesn't uh, give. However, you may think, wait, if that's true, then how did I ever get the stamp? And how is the stamp even possible? Because pretty much all the stamps are possible, even if I haven't completed them, or you haven't completed them. Well, we go down here to where the dock is, and I. I don't know which me this is. Probably be able to tell in a couple seconds. Uh, looks like Catherine or Naomi. 
Um, 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 that is. That is Yoko. Sorry, it's wrong. And look, the duckling is right at the dock. He is right outside. He or she, I don't know. You can't tell the gender. Uh, is outside of uh, the canoe's reach. But, you can still see you. So all you have to do is head over to the mother. Canoe gently down the stream. Marity, 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 right? Life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently in the lake. How that you can get the. Ooh! I forgot about this. I finished the Stray Ducklings Challenge. Uh, record 7-19-11. Nice. Get back this. Okay, so, now we're in the actual, uh, game mode. And that is that, and that, is that you row along the course of go figure how many yards and yes they use yards because this is America uh, and they're uh, tenth markers Okay, so if you successfully row the. Then we should do that again. If you successfully row a distance in the time allowed, uh, then you will uh, get a new race with a different uh, uh, time. the new uh, distance. Uh, however, the uh, time does not change, nor does the path of the actual race. And uh, actually, those ducklings there uh, are an indication of how fast of the pace you were in your last race. So right now we're at seven tenths. No, I do not teach a practice. Come on. This is the that's the downside of choosing to use uh, Numis for every event is just uh, uh, they'll always uh, send you to the uh, practice screen. So right now the ducks are at my head, or at the, I don't even know what it's called in a canoe, I don't canoe that often, um, in this case it would be a kayak, um, waypoint, uh, um, so that means I have a good pace. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Almost out of time, almost out of time, almost out of time on my uh, camera. You did it! Got your license. They can see how far you can actually paddle. And I'm going to do this as fast as I can. Okay. Test your limits. No, 
the course stays the same, so you still have the grass and the lily pads and the uh, stumps to worry about. But but you just have the time to worry about not actually getting a certain distance. As you can see there, there's a piece of red tape. If you cross it on all three modes, then you get a stamp. Um, I have not gotten the stamp. I do not have my license in all the uh, different modes yet. Oh my goodness, I've never gone this far before. That was so close. Unfortunately, I am out of time, but that's just to show you. It's a new record. It's a new record. Yay! Uh, but beginners like. So in the next episode, I will be doing. Um, what am I doing? Intermediate. See.